Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to download the Zeppelin mod for Minecraft 1.2.5, that is the current update. So, what you're going to want to do, is want to go to the browser, type in uh, 1.2, I'm going to have the link in the description. So this is the Zeppelin mod, there's an airship, ship, water ship, like in the water, airship, elevator, and turntable. And, um, so, <coughs> oh, that's a compass. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here, going to want to download the, Z the current one, add fly, yeah, do add fly, because um, it helps them out, the mod creators, so they can make a little bit more stuff, you know, I'm not sure why they need money, but whatever, so it helps them out, they can't spend their whole day making mods for you, they gotta do other stuff, so, and you're also going to want, let's see, GUI controls. Make sure it's the same. Point thirty one. Point thirty one. One point two. Five. Here we go. Oh, and I, I, uh, I do recommend uh, Google Chrome. It's faster. It's free, and it's just helpful. It shows your downloads down here and everything. I just like it. Okay. So you're gonna want to go find. Oh, I'm on Snow Leopard, not Lion. Downloads. Okay, so. Here it is. Here. So up here. Okay. Uh, okay. So here we go. So here's the actual mod. And, uh, okay. Okay. So this is this is the stuff that's in it. So, um, you're going to probably want to use the unarchiver. It's just better. It's faster. You can use archive utility. It works the same. So this is your actual mod. This is a GUI control. So you're going to want to go to your name, library, application support, Minecraft. And then, oh, I already have some mod installed. You want to go to bin. You're going to want to click this. It's going to say minecraft.jar. You get open with the unarchiver. It'll say extracting. It'll turn it into just Minecraft, and then you go dot jar, open this up, arrange by kind. Okay, so I have some sort of weird thing where I don't have to delete the meta inf. If I delete it, it just messes me up. My mod to work. I'm not sure what's going on. If anybody knows, please comment and tell me because I'm extremely confused. But I just leave that alone and I just do my mods without it. So you, everybody else has to delete the meta inf, and then it should work. But Try it both ways, okay? So what you're gonna want to do, going to want to open up this folder. Just take, just take everything. Okay, it looks all confusing. Like, oh, what do I do with all this? But, oh, oh, you're like, oh, what do, what do I do with all this stuff? You're like, oh, just take it all. Just ignore everything it says. Copy and just paste items. I already, I've already done it. And then take this. Copy this, paste that, and then you should be done. It should work. And, and then, so yeah, just double click this to get that. It'll use the unarchiver. Get the unarchiver in the app store right here. And then, just to show you, it does work. And sorry, I forgot to type in my password. Just to show you, it does work. People have their passwords already done. Some people say it's like just to like so, so people don't know their passwords. Like, how do you get that from typing in? It's okay. So here we go. It works. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I am working on a new series called Knights of Lividus. Got a bunch of new mod spotlights, and I'm upgrading my software and everything hope you guys like it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe said that twice don't forget to rate comment and subscribe don't forget oh sorry okay i like saying don't forget okay see ya